The navigation display, ND, can present the pilots with a lot of useful data to assist in the safe operation of the aircraft. Because the ND gives the pilots a visual presentation of where the aircraft is in relation to airfields, nav aids, etc., the operation of the aircraft is also made easier. In this module, we will use the captain's ND. There are five display modes available on the ND. They are selected by the mode selector on the EFIS control panel. There are three basic navigation display modes, which display in the background a 360 degree compass rose. Note, for training purposes, the other information has been dimmed. A 90 degree segment arc. A map plan with the north at the top. Before moving on to look at the individual modes, let's quickly look at some common information. The ground speed, GS, and the true air speed, TAS, are permanently displayed on the top left corner. Below the speed indications is the wind data, wind direction, true north, wind speed, and an arrow to indicate the wind direction with respect to magnetic north. Here, wind from 60 degrees at 52 knots. The aircraft magnetic heading is given by a fixed yellow lubber line against the moving compass rose. The selected heading or track, if bird is selected on, is shown by a blue triangle or blue numbers, if out of display range. This is similar to the PFD. Actual track is depicted by a green track diamond. Range marks are displayed by white dotted lines, while range values are depicted in blue. The display range can be adjusted using the range selector. Select 320 mile range. You can now see more of your flight plan and that the range values have changed accordingly. Let's study the ND individual modes. The ROSE ILS mode is a raw data mode, providing standard localizer and glide slope deviation bars. Note, the full runway name of the MCDU selected approach will be displayed if, in the related FMS phase, the along track distance to destination is less than 250 nautical miles. Other information is displayed to assist you. An ILS course pointer, ILS information. Select ROSE VOR mode. The ROSE VOR mode is another raw data display. On the display, there is now a course pointer and lateral deviation bar for the VOR. In this case, VOR1. To have this display, a course must have been selected on the MCDU RADNIF page. Like ROSE ILS, the information about the tuned frequency, the selected course and which navade, here PA, is displayed in the top right hand corner. Also the MCDU selected approach type, VOR or GPS, is displayed as shown. Let's now display the VOR bearing pointer. Select VOR1. No, click on ADF VOR selector 1. Notice that there is a white VOR bearing pointer and VOR information associated with the pointer. This information is available even if a course hasn't been selected on the MCDU RADNIF page. The number 1 pointer is represented by a single line. Let's change the selection 
on the FS control panel to display ADF1 instead of VOR1. This is achieved by moving the number 1 ADF VOR selector to ADF. We will do it for you. The white VOR bearing pointer has been replaced by a green ADF bearing pointer. The VOR information on the bottom left of the display has been replaced by ADF1 information. Notice that the selection of the pointer has not removed the deviation information for VOR1. We will now display the ADF2 bearing pointer by selecting ADF VOR selector 2 to ADF. The ADF2 bearing pointer is now displayed represented by a double lined arrow. At the bottom of the display there is information on the selected nav aids. Notice that in common with most things on the aircraft, it is number 1 on the left and number 2 on the right. Notice the tiny underlined M beside the nav aid information which indicates that each ADF has been manually tuned by the pilots on the MCDU red nav page. You will learn more about the nav aid selection in the Auto 34 Navigation chapter. To see the effect of the ADF VOR selectors, click on the forward arrow to select both VOR bearing pointers on. The two white VOR bearing pointers are now visible. As you can see on the red nav page, the VOR1 is auto-tuned with its course manually entered, and the VOR2 is manually tuned. You have seen the two raw data displays. Now, let's look at the rose nav display. A map view of the area surrounding the aircraft is now displayed on the FS control panel. The range selector is set at 80 nautical mile. It is the distance from the bottom to the top of the compass rose. The green line represents the flight plan. It will be studied in the ATA-22 Auto Flight Chapter. The information contained in the top right-hand corner of the display relates to the two-way point. The information is track to waypoint. Distance to go ETA Estimated time of arrival at waypoint. In this example, the two waypoint is Papa Alpha Sierra and is also displayed on the map view. Note as the two waypoint is a tuned navade, it is in blue instead of in white. The normal mode for the cruise phase is the arc mode. Click on the forward arrow to select the arc mode with the range of 160 nautical mile. Using the push buttons at the top of the EFIS control panel, additional information can be displayed. For example, airports that are in the displayed range. Select Airport. A green light illuminates in the push button. On the display, the airports contained in the aircraft's database and within the area are shown. This is a useful feature when considering diversions. We have pressed the NDB key for you. All the non-directional beacons contained in the database and within the display range are shown. We have pressed the VOR DME key. All the VOR beacons contained in the database and within the display range are shown. We have selected waypoint key. The display has started to become very cluttered now that all the waypoints are shown. We have turned the range selector to 44U. As you can see, the display is a little less cluttered. Now, let's look at the final display mode. Select plan mode. 
In this mode, the flight plan legs are shown on a true north orientated map. The center of the display is a waypoint. The aircraft is displayed in relation to the waypoint. In the example shown, the display is centered on waypoint, Papa Alpha Sierra, and the aircraft is heading towards that waypoint. Waypoint has been deselected. Now let's increase the range to 320 nautical miles. We have turned the range selector. Since plan mode is centered on a waypoint, the aircraft symbol may or may not be displayed. To demonstrate this, we have shifted the display for you and centered it on the waypoint Gulf Echo November. Notice that the aircraft symbol has moved towards the top of the display.